Hi there everyone, this is your endless fleeting view for the week ahead in association with Petzl. Now we've got a rather windy next few days and I think that's the main thing to be aware of. Very high winds, severe gales at times, a little bit of precept, so we'll go through that in a bit of detail just now. This is Wednesday. Very difficult mountain walking conditions are to be expected in the high winds and gusts that could potentially blow you over. Add on a severe wind chill will make conditions feel around minus 10 to around minus 15, particularly across the Scottish hills and mountains, perhaps more like minus five through England and, and the Welsh mountains, but obviously that is still cold too. Well, we'll start off with some coastal drizzle across the northwest highlands region will turn into more persistent and heavier rain as it pushes through the afternoon. Drizzle possibly or dry elsewhere though with variable cloud cover but the further south you are east of the Welsh mountains south of the English mountains you should get some decent sunny spells. Looking on ahead at Thursday, winds do tend to ease as the day progresses, though we are looking at an even colder day. Do expect those winds to be severe gale force further north um, across particularly Scotland, near gales elsewhere, making walking still very challenging through much of the day. We mustn't forget that added wind chill factor that needs to be uh, kept in check at all times too, making the conditions feel even colder though. Snow and hail showers are expected across the northwest and western highlands. Risk of showers further south and east across Scotland too. Some snow flurries to be expected above 600 metres across the Lake District and the Welsh Hills, but otherwise rain is either in the form of drizzle or it will be largely if not completely dry. Though we are expecting winds to still be rather strong, perhaps near gale um, across England and Wales through the day. Friday's weather, well, the temperatures are expected to be less cold, though we are still going to see pretty high winds. So add on that wind chill factor. It is going to feel uncomfortably cold in that wind. Rain, snow on the tops for a time. And you can see the, the frequent showers merging into longer spells of rain. Some showers pushing in across the western regions, so the lakes. Um, and into western regions of the English hills, as well as across at times through the Welsh mountains as well too. Variable cloud cover um, can be rather extensive in places. And a quick look into the weekend. Well, high pressure is the general dominant factor here, sitting just to the south um, of England. Mostly conditions will be above freezing on the mountains, but western Scotland is rather dull and damp. Um, but only just above zero on some of the western hills if the fog lingers. Still windy though as you can see in the north with those tightened isobars. Potentially for some even some local inversion conditions perhaps across England and Wales but very little in the way of precip around. There will be variable cloud cover and as I've just mentioned could be a reduced visibility particularly in the morning with the mist and fog to start lifting as we go through the day but some hanging around throughout the day. That is your MWIS fleeting view for the week ahead in association with Petzl.